Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Fundu Testers. So far, we discussed about a different type of HTTP request. We have gone through the theory and we understood how we can execute a uh, different type of HTTP request like a get, post, delete on a post pen. Now we are moving towards the next section. We are trying to understand the different functionality of a postman and we can see how we can uh, leverage a postman and how we can execute this HTTP request in a better way. So for that, first we are going to discuss about uh, collections, how we can create a collections, how we can import collections, how we can export collections, or if we have single HTTP method, then how we can import or how we can export that as well so those area we are going to discuss in today's sessions so let's get started and before moving forward if you are new to the fundu testers consider subscribing the fundu testers and don't forget to like and share this video with your friends camera rolling action In previous sessions, we have executed multiple APIs like a get, post, put, page, or delete, but we haven't saved. And for example, let's say I close this, I directly click on the don't save option. So I, this particular request has gone. And next time, whenever I wanted to use a delete request, again, I need to go to this particular website. Then I need to again copy all the data related to this particular HTTP method. And then only I, can, I am able to trigger this API. But here we have used a simple APIs, but in real time APIs won't be that much simple. There will be lots of parameters, body will be complicated. So we have to understand these things. We have to uh, update the data. Like for example, let's say I'm working on a post request. So here we have only two data, but let's say here we have uh, more than 20 key value pairs. And for each and every time we need to update a key and value pairs to make a API call to avoid that the best way is that we can save the request in a form of a collection. So what is a collection? Collection is a basically we are going to store multiple HTTP requests in a folder structure. So like we have folder structures in our laptops or computers uh, in a Mac or Windows. Uh, we have multiple folders, main folder under that we will have a uh, subfolders and then we are going to store a file. So easily we can uh, find all the files. Otherwise, if we store in a one folder that computer looks like a messy. So similar way on a post may we can create a collections and we can segregate APIs based on the modules or based on the API types. So let's see how this can be done. This is the area of a collection. You can see create a collection from your request. So there is an option to create a collection or if you have created a one collection, then this screen won't be visible. Now you have to go to this plus button and there is an option create a new collection. So if I click on this and uh, it is uh, automatically created a new collection and given the name new collection. So we can update a name based on the project. So I'm giving as of now name API testing tutorial and enter. So this collection has been created. Now I can close this tab here and uh, this collection is created. So if I expand this, there is a one arrow uh, click by clicking on this, I can expand this collection and it is showing as of now collection is uh, empty. So understand this is a main folder. We have created a main folder under that we can create a multiple uh, folders. And if you go to these three buttons, view more actions. So there are multiple options are available. Share, move, run collection, edit, uh, add folder and all these things we can see and uh, the basic options are like uh, let's say we wanted to save this collection or we wanted to export the collection or we can duplicate the collection or we wanted to add a folder so add folder is again major uh, frequently we are going to use so we are going to add a couple of folders and uh, we can copy the folder so let's say i wanted to use a duplicate folder or based on the same request i wanted to create a new folder so i can make a duplicate and if I click on this, so there is a, if I go here and I can simply update the name. So here I'm giving a name, get request, yeah, get APIs. And similar way for each and every APIs, we are going to create a separate folders. I mean, here I'm giving a name, post API, or if I can click on three, three dot, there is a option of a rename. So simply I can rename here, here, delete APIs. And last one, we have a update API. So update APIs. We have created a multiple folders and now we have to add a request. So we have segregated, we have created a main folder under that we have created a multiple folders. 
and now based on the HTTP tab we can add a couple of uh, multiple requests or we can cre create a folders based on the modules like if you're working on a Facebook and there are a couple of modules like a uh, uh, login or sign up functionality so login or sign up or register or update password related APS will go into same folder later on we can create a uh, profile which is a one more folder a profile related like a profile update or edit profile or a post or whatever APS related to profile we can place in that folder so here we have a couple of APIs now we need to click on the save so if I click on the save it is asking sele select collection or a folder so first I need to select a collection which is a API testing tutorial under that I can see multiple folder added so this is the get API I need to select get here we have to give a meaningful name so if I have given this name API slash users page is equal to 2 so it's uh, not easy to understand so we have to give a proper name so purpose of this particular API is to get all users so I'm giving a name get all users and I'm clicking on a save so now this API is saved and now you can see here the name has changed earlier the name was something like this now the name has been changed and this API has come here and from here also we can add a request so I can click on the add request so it has automatically build a new request and then I can add but here already we have performed this particular uh, we have added this request so simply it is easy to directly save from here so now we have a post request which is a create user and I need to go to appropriate folder so I'm going to post and I'm doing a save so like this I can save multiple requests so here this is the dummy API we are not going to use this so simply we can click on these three dots and we can delete the particular API so now we have uh, one API for create and now we have put uh, put basically we are going to use for update user so update full user information and I need to select I need to again go to the collection level and then I need to store a update and then save so basically I have saved that API and the page we understood this is the partial update so again I am giving a name partial user update and again we need to click on this we need to go to collection level select update API and save so now we have saved all this API so if I close this all tabs and again I'm going to come back on a postman and I wanted to use particular API directly then I simply click on this API it will come here and simply I can click on send so like this I can easily trigger this API and I wanted to perform whatever test I wanted to perform I can do that now question is how I can export this because uh, it is created by a mostly it is created by one particular team member and he will share with the entire team so how this can be done so there is an option here three dots and uh, uh, I'm going to export the collection and uh, I'm exporting and it is asking me to update a name and the extension will be dot json so here I'm giving a name user APIs and save so I have saved this collection uh, now let's say I wanted to import this collection someone has shared with me and I wanted to import this collection so, so what I'm going to do simply deleting this collection so I, I won't have the data I'm cleaning up entire workspace now I don't have any data so now there is option to import the collection I'm simply clicking on the import and uh, there is option we can paste a CURL, raw text, URL, files, all a folder. So I have a file that JSON file we have exported. I am simply going to user APIs.json and then open. So now it has opened the collection. And for example, how this collection will be look like. So if I open this, uh, if I go to the quick look or if you can open on a notepad, so entire collection will be look like a JSON structure it's like a JSON file here we have some info of that particular collection who has exported item we have particular uh, APIs delete APIs all these APIs we have basically this is the folder name update APIs and inside that we have two for APIs so it is stored as a JSON object so like this it is going to work but we are not going to deal much about this JSON file we are simply going to import and we can see the data on a postman so here we have all the APS got and we can trigger as quickly like this and for example now let's say 
uh, there is a bug with this particular API. I wanted to share with a developer because the thing is, if I would say uh, I'm getting this API, so he will not able to understand based on the APIs. Any basically developer or any other testers will try to replicate the APIs with the same data or same endpoints. So what we can do? There is a multiple options here: a documentation, comments, code, info. So if I click on the code, and there is option to copy this C URL. So if I copy this C curl, basically C URL and I can copy the snippet. So now uh, it is copied on my copied and I can share as a text and I can simply import in a uh, another postman. So if someone I have shared with someone, so they can simply go to the import option and simply paste this C URI paste. So now it is everything is done. So that API is imported automatically. And I have by mistake added this API. So I wanted to move into post collection. So simply there we can drag and drop. So go just drag and drop. It will move to particular uh, folder. Or if I wanted to move this folder inside the another folder. Like a multiple folder structure. So I can create a one more folder. Uh, add a folder. And I can give a name. Test folder for example. And I wanted to add this whole folder inside this folder and then simply I can drag and drop. So now I can segregate into multiple levels. Post API, this guest API, get APIs. And now so now you can see the structure. First we have test and inside that update API, inside that we have delete API folder. Delete API is empty but here there are multiple APIs we have added. So like this folder inside the folder uh, we can do. So I hope collections is a clear and if you have any doubt feel free to ask me in a comment section. I will be happy to answer and don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for new testers. Thank you so much.